What's going on, guys? It's, uh, Vanilla Biscuit here, uh, we're playing Doki Doki Literature Club. If you don't know what it is, it's basically an anime dating simulator about a book club, and, uh, it's really psychologically horror E. I don't know. That's what it says on the tags, and I don't know. We're gonna... I've seen a lot of YouTubers that have played this. I haven't actually watched any of it myself, but... So I'm gonna go ahead and start, uh, see if Vanilla... Whoa! Vanilla B. <laughs> I've heard that can do some really weird stuff to your computer. Hey. We don't know. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distant, waving, distance, right? waving ah, her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. The girl is Sayori, my neighbor, and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, uh, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, we would oversleep more and more frequent, more frequently, and I would get tired of wait, waiting up. Okay. What if she's going to chase after me like this? I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Ha! <laughs> I overslept again. Should I just have to do me this time. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. That was me saying that. Hey. Okay. That's mean, Vanilla B. <laughs> That's so stupid. This game, I it looks... It makes me want to kill myself. Like, the, the front title screen does. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sailor. Uh, cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, become more, become increasingly speckled with other students and making their, making their daily commute. By the way, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Hey, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismi dismissively oh yeah, dismissively okay dismissively go along with what she's going on about. So he already likes to worry about a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just letting just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. A stereotypical anime game so far. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any social skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I want, and I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few. What's a neat? Neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. So like an antisocial person or something. You trust me, right? I'm getting a text. Okay. Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll just look at a few clubs if it makes you happen. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Okay. Yay. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised that I even let myself get lit. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind a li at least a little bit, even if she doesn't exaggerate everything inside her head. Okay, so she exaggerates, she's a typical anime girl that we don't like. Um, school day is a ordinary is over, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. <laughs> Am I depressed or something? But, Sayori wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Of course, because you're an anime girl, Vanilla B. So, hello, Sayori. Sayori must have 
come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch a few coming out of the classroom, but I saw you sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me to catch. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. There's a lot of reading in this game. I'm not sure how I feel about it so far. It's not that great yet. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, uh, you know what? You know what? Okay, I was right. Well, that you could come to my club, Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going into your club. Yeah, me. me. Look at their facial, facial expressions. This is so, so gross. Sayori is vice president of the literature club. The literature club? Doki, doki literature club? Uh, not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to start a new club. So she was the first since she was the first one to show interest after uh, the one who proposed to the club. She inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm gonna be a man of the club. Come on, please. Uh, what, can I use spacebar for that? Uh, why do you care so much anyway? Yeah, you can. Okay. I'm just gonna use spacebar. Because it's the game is just reading. Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I'd bring in a new member and Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Hey, hey, hey. Don't make promises you can't keep. That's a life lesson for anyone. Uh, I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead or if she's just so cunning as to have planned all this out. Uh, I let out a long sigh. Sigh! Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Hang on, be right back. Gotta cut this out. Okay. Yes, let's go. Okay, we're. And this today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you, don't call me a new member. Yeah, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, you got a boy. Way to oh, I am a boy, not an anime girl. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Vanilla B, what a nice surprise. Uh, welcome to the club. All words escape, escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredible people. Uh, what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry, Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, she's also one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly, quietly in, uh, to my ear, then turns back and turns the other girls. Anyway, this is not Suki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the uh, smartest in the club. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appear, appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monaco. Is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Vanellope. Are they holding hands right there? This is a game where you gotta pay attention to like everything. Um, in the background and stuff. 
we do know each other. Well, we rarely, rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. So having her smile at me genuinely, genuinely feels a little... You, you too, Monica. Come sit down, little bee. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Mark. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. And how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Uh, as Sailor mentioned, it's been widened so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sailor. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sailor. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da. Uh, Natsuki lifts the foil from the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. What is it with Japanese and cats? The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. Uh, I had no idea you were good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take them. Sayori so grabs the first one, then Monica, I fall. It's delicious. Sayori so walks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best thing on this hair bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. I feel like I'm just like reading a book here. Um, why are you thinking? It's not like I well, haven't heard this one before. Made them for you or anything? Hey, I thought you were- you technically did. Sayori said, well, maybe. But it's not for you, know, you dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a, set, a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot- setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, teachers gave us permission. After all this, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I guess. Eh, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that's, that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I mean, that, you know, I believe it. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? I didn't consider it. I was forced to. Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by someone. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and they already seem really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. I will make sure you feel right at home, okay? No, this, this is gonna be scary. As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. So, why is she the club president if, uh, Matsuki is the one who started it? Something's not right. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? Or maybe she didn't start it. You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Ah, uh, well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather talk about something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. Yuri also nods and agrees. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. 
must be hard to start a new club. You can put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that's that much more important. I'm confident that we can make we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Uh, my earbud fell out. Right, everyone? Yeah, we'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find this three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Vanilla B, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, am I gonna get to pick stuff? Okay, not read much. Manga! I muttered to myself. I muttered quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's status Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorite things are usually novels that build deep and complex, fa complex fantasy worlds. Uh, the level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is so is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment. Uh, hang on, since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort, her comfort in the world of books, not people. So she's antisocial. Uh, but you know, I like a lot of books. stories with deep psychological elements. Usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Oh, so psychological and horror. Okay, I read a horror book once. I desperately grabbed something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, you might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that, but if a story makes me think or takes me into another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Oh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, it's just... Her eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about key things, don't you, Suki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. Then give that back. Fine, fine. Hey, hey, your cupcakes. Your poems. Everything you do is just to keep you away. Sayori sidles up behind Matsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute. Matsuki, fight. You got your own poems? Eh, yeah, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share that with that? How long have we been going? 20 minutes? And that... Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, I'm not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing it even the deepest reaches of your heart. This game is really weird. Do you have writing experience to you? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help not seek you feel comfortable enough to share it. It's hard to read out loud for 20 minutes straight. I guess it's not the same. I guess it's the same for you. I wanted to read books. I wanted to read everyone's poems. Sat in silence for me. Okay, I have an idea, everyone. Uh, writing poems. And, 
Okay, so am I gonna get to write a poem now? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, okay, the new member. Yep. Hold on, there's still one problem. What's that? Uh, the original topic. Okay. Uh, I never said I would join this club. Okay. I still have a club to look at. Uh, I'm sorry. Y'all, uh, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? If writing a poem is... Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna write a poem. So happy to be... Nope, they're all happy, jumping. Um, okay, it's official. I'm in the literature club. Everyone's... It's a nice assignment. Write a poem. Remember it. Alright, so. So there's anxiety. Apparently I'm anxious and I gotta write a poem for them. When I walk home together, okay, that's, that's right, it's really I never walk home together anymore because you're still staying after school for clubs. Sure, I might as well. Yay. With that, the two of us depart from the club room and make our way home. Alright. We're gonna stop right here, and, uh, I will see you guys in the next episode of this game. This really weird game. Hopefully it goes somewhere. Alright, see ya.